Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we're going to create this cool and abstract background so you can use it in your own workflow. It's easy to create, just follow my steps and without wasting any more time let's jump in into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or Command plus N or go to this uh, little icon, this is gonna be final composition, 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration, it's up to you, I will leave it to around 15 seconds, hit OK and then go right click to create a new background, find here solid layer, I will rename this one to background, also 9020 by 1080, hit OK, and then go here in the effects and preset and if you can't find this option just go window and you will find effects and preset here now type four color gradient drag and drop onto the background and here also let's make a few adjustments for the first point go here second point somewhere like here third point here and fourth point something like this now let's change third and fourth color to pure black color you can also use eyedropper and for the first and second color let's try here pink color of course you can try your own color but important step is to do first and second color same color okay you can use eyedropper like i already said and this is looking cool to me okay our next effect that we're going to use is motion tile go here in the facts and preset type motion tile drag and drop onto the background and let's change output width and output height to 500 okay also check this option mirror edges okay and our next effect is gonna be turbulent displays drag and drop also on the background layer and here for the amount let's try 500 size 250 complexity 8 and also change displacement from turbulent to horizontal displacement and as you can see we have already cool looking background now let's animate evolution hit alt or hold alt on your keyboard then click on this little stopwatch and type here expression time asterisk 50. if you want to see faster animation just hit here higher number and if you want to see slower animation type here lower number now when we hit zero we have movement of our background okay also let's import our next effect this is gonna be cc smear effect drag and drop onto the background okay and here also let's make a few adjustments let's change here from like so and to go to around here and for the reach let's try here 800 radius 2000 and now we have seen like this in every moment you can play around with the options like this to get your own results okay this is looking cool to me and now when we hit zero we have something like this all right now let's pre-compose our background layer go right click pre-compose this is gonna be bg01 like usual just make sure to move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and here you can also play around to duplicate this composition hit ctrl plus d or go edit then duplicate then hit r for rotation type here 180 and also for the blending modes let's try overlay and as you can see now we have this really cool and awesome looking background all right you can also add here adjustment layers like curves light sweep race and so many more go new find here new adjustment layer this is gonna be curves okay and then go here in the facts and preset find curves effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and you can lighter or darken the scene according your needs okay what we can do also is to go right click again find here new adjustment layer move it below our curves rename this to unsharp okay then go here in the facts and preset again and find here unsharp mask effect drag and drop on the adjustment layer and you can play around with the sharpness of our scene according your needs this is looking really Cool to me and now when we hit zero we have this cool and creative background here in our final scene also what you can do is to add more light effects like light rays lens flare go right click find here new 
adjustment layer again. This is gonna be lens flare. Okay, go here in the facts and preset, find lens flare effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here you can also play around with the option. I like to go this third 105 millimeters prime option. And for the flare center, do something like this. You can also blend this with original to maybe 70% or so. Just play around until you're satisfied with the result. Also, you can duplicate this one. And for the flare center, use the opposite side of this background. Everything is up to you. And now hit zero in our finals. We have this cool and awesome background. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also leave me a comment down below in the comment section. If you have any suggestions, just write to me down below. Also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. And I hope you learned something new in this one. Also, all the links are in the description. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.